Hey everybody, let's talk about Google Forms. Uh, let's go through how to create one and what you need to do to get started uh, with that. Now, I know that if you've never created a Google Form before, that it can seem overwhelming and a little bit daunting. So the easiest thing for you to do is going to be to uh, watch this video, but then also pull up another window that you can watch a little bit of the video, pause it, go and do what I just did watch the video, go and do what I just did. So that will allow you to um, kind of set up the Google form step by step as I go along with it instead of you trying to remember all the steps yourself. Um, so the first thing that you're going to need is a Gmail email address. Uh, you won't be able to use Google without a Gmail email address. So if you don't already have one, go ahead, pause the video, go sign up for one, create yourself an email address. If you uh, haven't already created a uh, separate email account for your paparazzi accessories, um, emails and stuff, this would be a great opportunity for you to go ahead and just set up another email account uh, that you can use for Gmail. Um, so anyway, once you do that, what you're going to do is you're just going to go to Drive dot google dot com and that is going to take you to your drive now these are all the forms that I already have and everything that I have saved on my drive but what you want to click on is new and you're going to come down here to more and you're going to click on Google Forms okay that's automatically going to pull up a blank form for you Okay, so now what we're going to do, and I'm just going to kind of show you how to do this. If you are on my team, I can send you a link to my checkout form so that you will see the questions that I have on there, um, the things that I think are important information for you to have. Um, I will say that Google Forms are where I get the um, information from people who are interested in parties and or interested in signing up on my team. So the majority of people I don't get like in the middle of a party that they want to talk to me about joining my team, but they put it on the form when they fill it out. So those are important things to have on your form. So um, if you haven't already gotten that from me, just let me know and I can send that to you. So it's really easy to go through and fill all of this out. Uh, the title of the form, this is what people are going to see when they see it. So uh, you can just title it like uh, paparazzi uh, Facebook party checkout form. Okay. Um, and then you're going to come down here and you're just going to untitled question. You're going to put in uh, name. And it automatically, it'll put it in to give them to where they can short answer, to type in a short answer here. Now down here where it says required, if you want them to have to answer a question before they can submit the form, you need to put it as required. OK, that way, when they go through, they can go all the way through a form and click submit. But if they haven't put something in that you have put as required, it won't it'll show them that they have to fill that out. This is important because you don't want people submitting the form and leaving off their um, shipping address or leaving off their email address or leaving something out that you have to have in order to send uh, their invoice to them or send their package of jewelry to them. So um, make the majority of your questions are going to be required. Okay. So once you have one question in, then you're just going to come right over here and click add question and you're going to add another question. And you can see right here next to name, when it has that red star next to it, that means it's a required question. Um, so you're just going to come up here and you're going to have another question and you're going to uh, have it be required. Then you can, and you can just keep on adding, okay? Um, and then you can also do like, um, I always, type in my policy of their invoices having to be paid within 24 hours and I can't type and talk at the same time. So um, I would put like
Okay, so um, I understand that my invoice has to be paid within 24 hours. Non-payment will result in my invoice being canceled. Um, and then down here, you have so you can have it be a multiple choice, and you can see all the different ones: short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, all of those things. So this one, I want it to be multiple choice, and I want their only option to be yes. Okay, so they have to click yes. That's going to um, it's going to remind them that the that payment for their invoice is going to be due within 24 hours. So they have to click that in order to go through. Um, as well, I ask a question if they're interested in a party. Um, if they if they are interested in a party, then my next uh, question would be uh, dates I'm interested in. Okay, um, and so um, you can keep it multiple choice or you could do check boxes, either one, and you could do like uh, January 15th, and then you could do um, January tw uh, 22nd. Okay, um, now obviously this one won't be a required one if they're not interested in a party, um, but that will allow them to go through then and uh, click the date that they're interested in. Okay. Now, you'll notice that as you go through, um, Google automatically uh, saves every change that you make. So all changes saved in Drive, everything that I've done is already saved here to where I can go back out and it takes me back to my Drive and then shows me right here the new form that I created. So then if I want to look at it, Again, if I want to make any changes, I can just double click on it, come back in, make any changes, and Google will automatically save it for me again. Okay, so it really is fairly easy um, on uh, how to create it and, and what you want it to say. Now, you can change um, the color palette and uh, the, the way uh, it looks to your customers um, to... Um, Send the Google form to people and to post it like in parties and stuff. What you're going to do is you're going to click right here on this send button and then you are you can send it via email, but if you click on this kind of paper clip looking one, it will give a link. And if you copy this link and if you paste it like in Facebook or if you send it via a message to someone, it will give them a clickable link that they can click on and it will take them to this form to fill out, okay? Um, you can shorten it if you're sending it uh, like to someone and you don't want it to be, you know, super long. You can shorten it. It doesn't do anything um, to do it that way. So either one, you're just going to click on it, you're going to copy it, and then you're going to go and paste. So that's the easiest way to be able to uh, send the form or to get the form to post like on Facebook or anything like that. One other thing I wanted to point out really quick, the default setting for this for the form is for your responses to be right up here. So you would, whenever anyone fills out your form, you would show on the responses up here, you would show how many responses you've gotten. Um, right now there's zero responses, obviously. Um, but what you can do um, to get it to where there's a separate um, spreadsheet for responses, um, you go over here to the, the three lines right here, get email notifications for new responses, select uh, response uh, destination, download responses, all of those. Select response destination, create a new spreadsheet, and you can name it whatever you want. Um, you can put it in an existing spreadsheet if you already have one going. Um, so that makes it easier to where then when you come on your drive, you have one place for your form and then you have another place that you can pull up just the responses. So it's just a little bit easier um, to do it that way. So Anyway, hopefully that's kind of a step-by-step -step process of what you go through um, for, to create your Google form. Again, if you need to know what goes, what you should put on your Google form, let me know. I will send you a link to my Google form and uh, you can go from there, all right? Thanks.